Hey guys, it's Amanda. What's up? I hope you all are having an amazing day today. I am so excited about all of the London videos that are going to be coming your way, but specifically this Come Thrift With Me, I cannot wait to share with you. I was so committed to finding actual thrift stores when I was in London. My first few days thrifting were definitely disappointing, so I decided to, first of all, get out of Central because that's where I was trying to thrift. Um, which was not working and I found that most of the thrift stores that I'm going to be showing you in this video were in Camden town I really just stumbled upon these thrift stores But Camden was the best area that I found for thrifting There's just so many thrift stores in a row and by thrift stores I mean tiny little tiny little stores that people could just donate things to literally one of the stores that I found the most things at was a children's thrift store so and I found designer items in my size. But I had a lot of fun scoping out all of these stores. It was like a little bit of a challenge and I actually feel like I was pretty successful. I came home with so many items. I did have to buy an entirely new suitcase. So also this is gonna be kind of a vlog style come thrift with me. So I'm taking you about my day a little bit and just what I do in between thrifting and it's filmed over multiple days. But before we get into the come thrift with me, I wanna to talk to you guys about the jewelry that I'm wearing through the video and the jewelry that I'm wearing all the time, which is Ana Luisa. If you're someone who has watched my videos before, you've definitely heard me talk about Ana Luisa. They make such high quality jewelry pieces for a very affordable price. Their pricing starts at $39 and right now they're having their biggest sale of the year, which is up to 35% off on all their pieces. But I'm gonna walk you guys through some of the pieces that I've been loving for years at this point and then share some new ones with you as well. I feel like it might even start to get repetitive because I talk about these pieces so often, but this faux watch band literally does not come off my wrist. It's one of my favorite pieces. It's so classic, it's so lightweight. Also, all of these pieces are gonna be silver because let's be honest, like, I'm a silver girl. I try with the gold, but it's really more of a summer thing for me, I would say. And then I have this really adorable chain bracelet, which has this dangly heart and this combo together is just, Perfect. Like, is there any other word to describe it? Not at all. Okay, and then I think this has to be my favorite piece ever. The A initial necklace is just everything I've honestly ever wanted. And I added a cross pendant onto it, kind of to give it some weight so that it would always hang where it is right now. I definitely used to wear, as in like a month ago, two necklaces at once, but now I've kind of reached a point where I'm done detangling my necklaces every other hour of the day like I'm not kidding it's just too much for me so I feel like having two pendants on it kind of just like is the perfect compromise and then these mini hoops I wore through the video and every single day when I was traveling they're the perfect size they're so cute a silver chunky hoop is just a staple piece I literally have these hoops in every single size this is the Tia mini they also come in the small size and the medium size, I believe, which I actually just got the medium ones and I'm really excited because I feel like I either go for a mini, like a micro hoop like this or huge hoops that are very skinny, but I've never done a chunkier medium size hoop. Then I got these mini, mini, mini hoops. These have little diamonds on them. I feel like these are kind of an in-between of a stud and a hoop because they're so small when they're in, they kind of look like studs and they have like a diamond detailing. These are also me trying to like branch out. They're hoops that have a little dangly diamond. Like maybe I'll want to really elevate my hoop game one day and wear these. Okay, and then I obviously had to get the matching necklace. Maybe for Christmas is when I pull out these two and have a matching moment. I thought that it would be nice to add another bracelet into my rotation. This one is definitely more of a summer vibe. It's all silver, which I can really appreciate. I love that there's no gems in the flowers. It's just like super simple. Lastly, I picked up these silver twisty hoops. I used to have these in gold and I actually did wear them all the time in a bit of a bigger size, I think. I just feel like you really cannot go wrong with a silver hoop, no matter what it looks like. I have quite the silver hoop collection at this point. And I do just stay wearing my TM mini hoops every single day. I'm gonna leave a link below for you guys to shop Ana Luisa if you're interested in any of these pieces. As I mentioned now, they're having their biggest sale of the year, so it's definitely the time to buy. And now we're gonna get into the London Come Thrift With Me. Good morning. 
The first store that I checked out was called Rocket Vintage. The main thing I was looking for at this point in my London trip was jeans. I literally came to London with no winter clothes, okay? And although it was a nice warm day, I was aware that within the next week I would need pants. And I picked up a classic low rise light wash pair to try on. I definitely have a love-hate relationship with Kappa, but I have to admit this piece was very cute. I love a track jacket, as you guys know. I also love pink and white, and then you add green in the mix, it's perfect. But this was not a piece that I was looking to add into my backpacking wardrobe at the moment. Oh my God, <laughs> this is my dream Adidas jacket. Although I've said I'm done collecting, this is one that I would still allow myself to purchase just because it's so insane. I can just think of so many ways that I would style this. Immediately I envisioned this purse with the Adidas track jacket. This is just a staple white tank top, but it looked so flattering and I'm kind of lacking formal wear as you guys may have heard me mention before. So I thought I would try this on. I just loved the cut of it and it was in perfect condition. I always check out the belt section. They had this Dolce & Gabbana cow leather belt. Okay, so these are all of the items I grabbed to try on. We obviously had to start with the polka dot Adidas jacket. Like, this is a perfect clothing item. I don't know what really there is to say about it. Unfortunately, it was too small for me. Maybe not unfortunately, I don't know. <laughs> but I own enough of these track jackets to know what size I get the most wear out of, and it's not this size, okay? I think it was a small or extra small. It was a little bit restrictive. I was not feeling it, although it was very, very adorable. I did not purchase it. The next thing that I tried on was the white tank top which did surprise me, honestly. I absolutely loved the fit of it. However, you can see that it's a little bit see-through, so you can see the facing on the top of the shirt, and that is my biggest pet peeve. I'm not joking, I will never own a clothing piece where you can see the facing like that. I just, first of all, it's so uncomfortable the way it touches on the top of your chest, and it just doesn't look good, so I did not pick it up. These jeans did not fit me at all, therefore there is no try on for them. I was not satisfied, like nothing I picked up fit me, and then I realized they had an upstairs, so I went and checked it out. Everything was five pounds. I saw this mesh polka dot long sleeve, immediately it caught my eye. I'm definitely on a polka dot kick at the moment. I've been on it. I immediately just imagined a very oversized outfit with this top, wearing my super baggy long jorts, my S skate shoes, I don't know, it's just kind of a vibe. It's kind of funny as well. And then this is probably the most different piece for me that I've ever shown interest in on my channel, like what? But I was really in the headspace of Paris Fashion Week. I'm like, okay, maybe I could crop it, wear it with a black jort, a kitten heel with a pointed toe, I don't know. This polo shirt was really adorable. I didn't love how thin it was, but I don't know guys, maybe I was just desperate. I love the number three, I'm like, I need it. I don't know, I just saw it in my wardrobe. I think it's a cute top, I have to say. I have not worn it, it's been a few months. So maybe it's gonna go to my brother, we'll see. If this top was longer, it would be so much more elegant and chic. I hate to say it, but it's kind of giving Urban Outfitters mesh top that we all owned in high school. I still picked it up, so I'm not gonna hate on it too much, but yeah. So there we go. Like I bought all three of those items. That was honestly the first successful vintage store I've been into in London because they had a sale section upstairs. Everything was five pounds. So I felt like I could actually just get some pieces to test out. like. The really oversized shirts or something I've been wanting to grab, but I'm not gonna spend 40 pounds on a shirt, obviously, that I don't even know if I like yet. And the vision with those is my massive South Pole jorts, just to like continue on with the oversized theme. And honestly, that corduroy one that's maroon and plaid with those South Pole jorts and then pointed heels, I would probably wear for Fashion Week in Paris and either cut it just like straight across along the bottom or crop it. I don't know. Anyways, um, I got up a little bit earlier than I needed today. We just came down to Camden Town to shop. She's here now and we're going to get some food at this jerk chicken place, which we've actually had before. I feel like all I've eaten since getting to London is jerk chicken. I'm not kidding. I've had it probably six times, but really excited. Also, I guess because it's Sunday, Camden is so busy because there's the Camden market, which I've kind of forgot about. The main plan today was just going to Primrose Hill and then I realized that it was in Camden Town and that there was these thrifts that I wanted to check out. My hair is crazy right now because it's so humid. 
it's 31 degrees again. I'm not complaining, but look at that. I'm just vlogging and don't give a fuck. But yeah, okay. See when there's jerk chicken in front of me. Okay, I got the curried oxtail. I got the jerk chicken ball. Which we actually have had before. And it's so good. It and it's fried plantain. So good. It's so a little good. spicy. Mm. Lemon Fanta. I got obsessed with this when I was in Greece. Bye bye. Love you. I usually don't look like this, guys. I know. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. On our way to Primrose Hill, we passed Farah Kids, and I am like, we are going in here, Anika. I have a really good feeling about this store for some reason. The first thing I found was this Brandy Melville cardigan. This was definitely a good sign, okay? It's not a baby size. I could fit into this if I needed to, but I found this t-shirt, which obviously you guys know I fell in love with. I'm like the bejeweled, the heart, everything picked it up. I also am just such a sucker for stripes. So this light blue and navy top was everything to me. This is when I really was just in utter shock. I found this Stella McCartney gray long sleeve with the most amazing spell out. The texture, everything. And then this really cute blue and orange Stella McCartney top as well. I'm like, what is going on? And this was on sale for around 18, 20 Canadian dollars. So I started to try on these clothes in the children's thrift store, okay? Starting off with this Stella McCartney t-shirt, which I loved. The color is perfect. I've actually worn it with the skirt that I'm wearing in this video a few times with little ballet flats. This top was too small to justify the price, honestly, like $30, the sleeves are not long enough. But truly, this top is ingrained in my head forever. I just love how the letters pop out of the top in the exact same shade of gray. I need to find something similar to this. I decided that I did need this striped top for obvious reasons. It's just so cute. I honestly did wear it quite a bit in London over a little white mini skirt. This top was a little bit too see-through and small. I decided we are not bringing her home, unfortunately. But I will say, if you're in London, go to this Farah Kids near Primrose Hill because this was just like a one-off. The store was closing in 10 minutes and I found all of these things. So there's definitely so much potential. Uh, we're at Primrose Hill. Yeah, we are. It's so cute. Oh, wait, but I want to tell Amanda something. Gotta um. go. If you're in London, Blank Street Cafe, the pumpkin spice is honestly better than the Starbucks one. And she got the pistachio latte. It's Monday morning. Life is blessed. All blessings. <laughs> God bless you all. I was just... <laughs> yeah, we're wearing our outfits from last night. We had a long night. So... Yeah, for literally no reason. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I have to eat this. Mm. Oh, I'm so <laughs> this is the first warm fall day we've had that's and not yeah. rainy. And yesterday was normal. It was summer. Yeah, it was hot yesterday. But this park is giving all the fall vibes right now. We're in Camden Town, which honestly, I feel like is my new favorite spot in London. It's so cute. This is literally what you said in the green spot. I'm like, why? You're like, too shocked. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's amazing. <laughs> I just left the two. She's on her way to work. And now I'm kind of going to walk towards where we just were um, before we were at the coffee spot because there's so many charity shops. And I checked them out about a week ago, but they were all closing within five minutes. So I couldn't really look at anything, but they're super cheap. And I'm kind of on like a thrifting 
roll right now it feels like because yesterday I bought five things which is major okay let me not get rid of it because I have not been finding anything and everything is so expensive at all of the vintage stores so these are actual charity shops that are really cheap I think it's around two o'clock right now so most of them close around five but yeah last night was so fun and so unexpected we just went for a little dinner and then it turned into a full club night which is so not something I normally I wouldn't say normally do but I just haven't been to the club in that way in so long none of us have and we really were not expecting it um but it was fun it was libertine if you're in London it's like definitely the most clubby club I feel like that you could go to but I love London so much I truly feel at home and I'm so grateful for all the connections I've made. I know Fatou was watching this and like, I just, we met a week ago, like what? It's like mind boggling, so. I was not playing around. I had tried to go to these thrift stores in Camden Town for so long and I just kept me like messing up. Okay, they were always closed when I would go or it was closing in five minutes. So today was the day I started off at Octavia Foundation. This truly was so aligning for me. I found three pairs of seven for all mankind jeans, white jeans in a row. And the only pair of pants that I brought with me on my trip were white pants. And within the first week they got totally ruined. I can't even talk about it. So I was desperate. And this corduroy pair, oh my God, the length, the low rise, the flare, I couldn't believe it. And they were only nine pounds. And then I found two of what I thought were the same. Okay, we'll get into it. White, long, flared, basically the exact same as those prior pants, but without the corduroy. So I picked up both of these. I love the silver detailing on the pockets. These were made for me. Like it's as simple as that. This black bag was mid, honestly, just hanging on the side of the rack, but I thought I would share it with you. Price point was good. This store honestly had really good deals for what they were selling. These brown shorts caught my eye. They're super unique, we'll say. I love the closure detail. I found this Jean-Paul Gaultier backpack, but I, I have a feeling that this came with a perfume or something. It was not giving clearly. Okay, first pair we tried on were these corduroy ones and they do look like they fit, but let me tell you, I probably could not sit down. I finally admitted that they were too small and we tried on the next pair. Immediately, this pair felt so much more comfortable, <laughs> okay? And they were so long, so flared. They are under my foot. That is the best sign always when trying on pants. And I honestly just couldn't believe it. I was in utter shock. This next pair, as you can see, is so much shorter. So this made the decision very easy for me. These were never coming home with me. Let me know what you guys think about these shorts down below. I think that they're really cool. Although I just don't think the color is super flattering on me. I have a bit of a tan here, so it's okay. But now like, okay, they're never going on my body. I feel like I need to dye them black or something. I almost wore them out for Paris Fashion Week with a cute little cardigan. But I was just like, no, these aren't me. I don't know what it is, but it's just kind of off. So I feel like I need to dye them. Okay, so successful, feeling amazing. On to the next, the British Heart Foundation. This store had a ton of outerwear, which honestly I was also kind of in the market for. So I was checking out all the jackets. There wasn't anything that really stood out to me. I saw this gray Calvin Klein crew neck. Again, nothing crazy, but you have to acknowledge the past stores that I've been in before this were like $100 for that sweater. So this brown plaid top definitely could have been cute. There's potential in it for sure, but I didn't feel so inclined to try it on. I love the color of this champion sweater, but I'm just not really here for the champion on the sleeve or anything with the champion logo. I don't know, it's just not not needing that. And then I saw this Puma jacket, which in Toronto, like I never would have picked this off of the rack to share with you guys. But as I said, we've been down bad. Such a cozy gray polo sweater. If the polo logo was not in that off maroon pink color, I probably would have wanted to buy this if it was in white or silver or something, but that threw it off. Thankfully, cause I don't need it. I went into Age UK. I started off in the women's section, just looking through the tops and the skirts. I found this skirt that was kind of intriguing because there was just so much going on 
on it, but I don't think that it's something that I would honestly wear. It's kind of funny looking at now. Like my perspective during this moment, like I was feral for thrifted clothes. I was so over my wardrobe that I had been wearing for the last few months. Um, these Puma track pants are honestly really cute. When I was editing this video, I was like, oh my God, like you didn't try those on. They look like they would be the perfect rise and they're in great condition. I found this black kilt, which I am honestly still currently on the hunt for the perfect black kilt that fits me low rise because the one that I have right now goes above my belly button and it's so uncomfortable and I can only wear it with like a super long top. The fact that I'm showing Kappa twice in the same video was crazy, but obviously that logo was so destroyed. This was obviously a pajama shirt, but I love a white long sleeve, so cute. Oh my God, this matching bra and underwear set was everything to me. The hot pink color, the bows. If I was in Toronto, I probably would have bought this and used it for some sort of shoot or something in the future, but I couldn't justify carrying it around with me. Next store is called PDSA. And I would say this store had the best organization and they had a full designer vintage section. I saw these jeans. They looked like they had a great fit and I love the dark wash. I'm not really a fan of the color blocked light wash at the bottom of the leg. And then this Armani shirt, I'm like, Amanda, why didn't you try this on? I don't know what the reason was, but this looks perfect to me. All of the white stitching with little silver detailing, I like, excuse me, I don't know why I don't own this shirt currently, but um, yeah, so that was really cute. The price of this was nine pounds, roughly like 15, 16 Canadian dollars. This G-Star t-shirt was so cute, but just very see-through. And I don't know, I'm just like, I can't do the see-through shirts. It's not it for me. Another pair of seven for all mankind jeans. These are the perfect wash length flare. I love a rip in the knee, to be honest. And they were 15 pounds. So I picked these up to try on. And then I found this dress, which I picked up immediately to try on. I just feel like the silhouette would be really flattering. I like the color. I feel like you could really play it up with other colors in the outfit. The jeans did not fit me and this dress was just not giving anything. It didn't really fit me quite well. I'm walking to the Camden Market right now because I found a gluten-free, um, it's Brazilian food, it's called tapioca tortilla, like tapioca flour tortillas. I feel like it's closed, like I don't see it, so. But the plan is to grab that and bring it to Primrose Hill, which is my new favorite spot. Honestly, I think I've already said it, but Camden Town is my favorite spot in London. This is the ultimate vibe right now. No, I know. If only we had chocolate. I know, where's that chocolate you got? <laughs> what chocolate? One that you're like, Weeks ago? Oh, can we buy this one, please? You think I wouldn't have eaten that? That concludes my London Come Thrift With Me. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna leave a link below if you guys are interested in shopping at the Ana Luisa sale. And I will see you in my next video.